taking existing GO train tracks and we are saying we are not going to spend the time buying land and digging tunnels and so on. We're going to take those tracks and we're going to put all day two-way electric train service. It is consistent with provincial policy who have said and again received a mandate to electrify the GO system and I'm going to get on with it. I was talking to a man, I was talking to a man the other day who was operating a software company in Markham. He said, what does Markham have to do with this? Well, he employs 175 people there and he says he can't get a lot of young people from Scarborough or other places in Toronto to come and work there because there is no way to get there on public transportation. We're going to give people in Scarborough a way to get there. We're going to give them a way to get downtown. We're going to give them a way to get around Scarborough they haven't had before. It's the fastest. In terms of time, seven years, not 17, it benefits the most people and it's very cost effective. And I am going to be the champion of that smart track. The province of Ontario, in their budget yesterday, has set aside billions of dollars for the electrification of the GO system and the expansion of rapid transit. And I'm going to go as mayor and work with Premier Kathleen Wynne and Prime Minister Stephen Harper to get the money to do that job. And I think it's high time Stop the debate, build transit, bring real traffic relief, and do it in a hurry because we can't wait any longer. The economy and the families of this city are suffering, and they're suffering because people have spent far too much time debating political points and trying to score political points and not enough time actually getting something done. Thank you, Mr. And finally, I'll ask uh, Ms. Chow to give us a few minutes. I grew up taking TTC, and I still do, and you know what hurts most when I saw that a few years ago under Mr. Ford as the mayor, TTC fares have gone up and yet routes in Scarborough were cut, bus routes, and they were all grounding on the bus so that people are left behind because they can't even get on the bus, it's so crowded during rush hour. So what I would do immediately, instead of talking about it, we will increase the bus service during rush hour by 10% so people can travel in dignity and in comfort. <laughs> and yes, we need to build subways to relieve the congestion on the existing subway. And there are ways uh, on building the relief line and also upgrading the existing signal system, both on Young and on the Bloor Danforth line, so that more subways can come, or subway trains can come and arrive, so that we can increase the capacity by at least 20 to 30 percent. And that's a fast and good way to increase capacity. And next, I will build the above ground subway, well, above ground subway or train, uh, right here on Scarborough because it is shovel ready. We need to get it done because in the last four years, you know the we have a lot of time debating and talking and no work has been done. Both Mr. Tory and Mr. Ford have said that they will get the subway done. You know what? There are four more years of study. So within the next term, these two gentlemen would not be able to build anything in Scarborough. And that won't work. And we deserve much better. So above ground means that we can build it four years faster, four more stop, and a billion dollar less. That means 30 years of property tax increases that we do not need to have. And that's important. And you know, Mr. Tory said that uh, tearing up the master agreement. You know what master agreement is? That master agreement is between the provincial and the city government. It's about building the LRT. It's about the agreement Let of Bombardier. You have to, the existing agreement that you have to honor is the agreement to build above ground. There's no ag agreement to do below ground. And Mr. Tory, it's because you have no experience in municipal government, it shows because the master agreement is about LRT, it's not about the subway. Your time is up, Sean, thank you. Uh, so we're going to have roughly five minutes of uh, back and forth here. I'm thinking Mr. Tory might want to respond to what Ms. Chow said just then uh, to well, get things started. I would only say that the kind of experience I think people are looking for these days is the experience that 
actually getting something of value. Amen. And you know what? There is an agreement in place, and I think it's not only an agreement that exists between the city and the province and the federal government to build the Scarborough subway. It is now an agreement that I would say exists between the people of Scarborough who just voted in an election campaign yes. and expressly elected people who ran on the platform of building a subway. That's the agreement that matters. The people have spoken on that. The Minister of Transportation for the province of Ontario says this. We have a plan, and that plan includes building a subway in Scarborough. We've just received a strong mandate from the people of Ontario to deliver on the plan. That's what he said last week. I don't want to start my term, which you do, because you've done this your whole life. This is what you know how to do, which is endless debates that are about scoring
Thank you, Mr. Ford. Uh, I'll give the last word to you. What about the money? Do you have money for further, to further your transit yeah. agenda? Olivia, at least we know where you're coming from with LRTs. John's plan is exactly like yours, a subway above ground. That's the biggest oxymoron I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. We don't have subways above ground. And you, Olivia, this is going back to the David Miller era. This is exactly what David Miller wanted. You know that? I respect you for saying that. John Tory, he's just a shadow of Olivia Chow. You know, John, you know, you, you know you're gonna tear up Finch. You know that, you've admitted to it. And Shepard, and Eglinton and Etobicoke. That's your plan, is LRTs. You never supported subways in your life and so I started building subways in Scarborough. The people want it. You jumped on board. And then, and then you know, live, when you're behind the radio, said, you can't build them without revenue tools. Well, John, I have built them without revenue tools at quarter of 1%. So, again, you can even talk a good story. You might as well just say, John Tory, tell us another story. Chris, if I may. seven years, not in 17 years, and I tell you what, you, you seem to know so much better than, say, people in London, England, where they're doing the same thing because it makes so much sense, or in Washington, where they're doing the same thing because it makes so much sense, and you just have to sort of insist on calling it by other names when, in fact, you know it's that darn thing. We're going to leave it there. You said it. 